I got, a, I got a decision to make here. Either go to work and see what's going on, or I can stop by Byway Brewing and see Phil. And he's promised me a behind the scenes tour to get to know what's going on in their book of business here. You know what? I think today's a perfect day for me to pull in. Dave, how you doing? Phil, how you doing? Good. Welcome to Byway. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Appreciate you coming out. We're going to have some food today. We've got some beverages that I'd like you to try and everything. Just kind of see the overall uh, brewery and what we got going on. You had me at beverages, so there, let's, there we go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. One thing you can't really capture in the video here, guys, is the smell of this kitchen. It yeah. is incredible. Yeah. You can yeah. smell the bacon, you can smell the chips, you can smell we make, all, everything that's we fresh. Make, we make everything fresh here. Most of our items are done from scratch. Uh, you know, everything that you get coming through this kitchen at Byway uh, is done by our cooks. We get a lot of business here, so we have to try to pump the food out as best as we can and as fast as we can, while still keeping up the high quality. We smash all of our burgers in-house. Burgers are our number one item. We go through a lot of beef over here, so I can cook a smash burger in about two and a half minutes and I can get it out to the guests. Now, when you start to look at your menu items, yeah. and when you start looking at what you guys craft Yep. As far as beer, and you said yep. cocktail selections are coming down the road yep. here. Yep. Are you trying to pair that together? So we do. We do try to pair everything uh, and give the, the servers will give the rest recommendations along with the bartenders on what to uh, what goes well with each item. So what, what do we got going on here? So this is our poutine. We've got our house fries, house roasted uh, pulled pork. It's our cheese curds here, Wisconsin cheese curds. And then we have our veal stock gravy that we make in house uh, along with some fried jalapenos. And then we put one poached egg uh, up on top. This, this is incredible. It's good I mean, stuff. Uh, and then we have our uh, house smash burger, uh, two four ounce uh, smash patties. Uh, and we put American cheese on it with uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle. Pickles are our house pickles uh, on a brioche bun with our house seasoned chips. Uh, it's juicy, awesome, uh, super flavorful. Do we have something to complement this? I think we do. Uh, let's get some. Let's get some beer over here, right? We need some beer. Absolutely. So, oh, look how fast! Uh, look at that. Hey, this is this is like, fast service. Yeah, here. We, we we've got for some pretty good uh, service over here, Dave. So this is our stash, our Polish pilsner. And then this is our Shy PA, which is our flagship American IPA that we have. So what is customary here? I mean, do you start with food, do you start with the beverage, or do we start with a toast? I think we start with the toast. toast. I like it. But cheers, Dave. I know that you, you, you do beer and craft uh, selections here. Uh, are there age restrictions? Uh, no, uh, we are all ages. Um, I just can't sit at the bar for anyone under 21, but we are all ages and we are in the midst of actually getting our uh, three-way liquor license as well. So we'll be able to offer uh, beer, wine, and hard liquor with a focus on draft cocktails. Well, let's take a couple more bites here yeah. and then uh, we'll uh, finish this up and get behind the scenes and see Perfect. how this des delicious beer that you craft here that goes great with these items here. There we go. I mean, I, it would be right to see like menu item after menu item here, but we, don't, <laughs> yeah. we don't have much time. We though, don't so. have, yeah, yes. it, yeah. <laughs> So Phil, we just were in the tap room yep. enjoying that incredible uh, lunch there yeah. that you provided for us. Uh, but now we're in what's called the production room, right? Right. Yep. So this is where all the beer making happens. Uh, this is our 20 barrel, 100% uh, American made uh, brew system that we had done in Wisconsin. We have our mash louder ton over here. So this is the uh, first step of the process where we go and we put the grain into this uh, uh, vat over here and we sparge it with uh, hot water. Depending on what kind of beer that we're making, depends on what uh, temperature the water is gonna be at. And what we're trying to do here is extract all the fermentable sugars. So we'll take out um, all the, uh, the liquid, which is called the wort, okay. and we move over into our boil kettle over here. So it goes from here to here? Here to here. In this uh, 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 section, we will go and uh, put in our hops. So we'll put in our boil hops um, at the beginning and that starts uh, getting all your bitterness from a beer so if you have your IPA and you got that bitter beer you're putting your um, your hops in at the beginning uh, beginning of the boil and you just let it go the longer that it's in there the more bitter the beer is gonna be um, at the end um, we'll shut, a, uh, shut it off and we'll go into the whirlpool and we'll put more hops in there and that's your flavoring hops so if you're gonna start something like that morning yep how long does it take before that becomes something that could be consumable out there? 
So uh, depending on the style of beer, three to four weeks. Okay. Uh, so the brew day itself, eight to 10 hours. So, okay. so um, once we finish this uh, part, this will go through the heat exchanger. We need to cool it down because we're gonna go over to the fermenters over here uh, and we're gonna put that wort. So it's still no, uh, no beer yet, no alcohol. It's still called the wort and it goes into the fermenters at a cool down rate. Um, because we're going to pitch in the yeast. It has to be at a certain temperature, again, depending on the style, whether it's an ale or lager, um, anywhere, um, you know, depending on if it's a lager in the 50s and the ale in the uh, low 60s uh, temperature wise, and you're going to pitch in the yeast so the yeast will start getting active and start eating all the fermentable sugars where it's eating the sugars and creating CO2 and alcohol. This is the true American is, is, beer. It, yeah, it is. From A to Z. From A to Z. Everything 100% American made over here. So. so when you walk through this door here, you're getting yep. everything that supports yep. USA. Yeah. Union, oh. union built, everything. Nice. So it was, uh, yeah, we, we went and did it the right way. So. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Phil, thank you for the behind Absolutely. the scenes tours. On behalf of the South Shore, congratulations thank to you, you guys. Sir. We look forward to working with you guys years to come like that. Awesome. So you've now seen a little bit behind the scenes at Byway Brewing here, located here in Hammond, Indiana. Uh, the video itself kind of gives you a behind the scenes, but to experience all the things we've talked about from the great food to the great uh, beers that are out there and the incredible staff that you put together here, come on by and support a local American made uh, business here in Northwest Indiana. Thank you.